Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're Plan Free. I'm Lori. And I'm Eric. This is our beginner's guide to house sitting 101. <laughs> our experience house sitting started in about 2015, about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Now we've done about a dozen house sits in about five different countries. We're still in contact with several or most of the people we've done those house sits with and for. Often they lead to return invites or referrals. It's been a very good arrangement for us and for them, hopefully. What is house sitting? House sitting is usually an arrangement between a homeowner and someone that's coming into the home to look after that house while the homeowner is traveling or away. The house sitting arrangement or agreement itself can be as formal or as casual as the parties see fit. Our most often experience is that it's basically a handshake arrangement built out of verbal description from the homeowner as to what they would like to have happen in their house sit. Mm -hmm. And then the house sitter agrees to those. It's a handshake thing and away you go. Agreements between the homeowner and the house sitter can vary. We'll list a few typical uh, scenarios for you. The first one being that the house sitter gets a free stay in the home in exchange for caring for that home. Another arrangement that might occur that's less common is where the house sitter actually pays the homeowner either their carrying costs like utilities or a nominal rent. In this scenario, the homeowner should have a few things going for them. They should have an upper end property in a highly desirable location. Mm -hmm. They should have, including a car with the house sit. They should have no pets. They should have very little to no household chores. If that's the case for that particular house owner, they could probably ask the house sitter to pay them those nominal fees to come in and house sit for them. A third arrangement is kind of the alternative to the one I just described where now the homeowner has many chores, possibly multiple pets, a business, a property, staff to oversee these sorts of things. And in this case, the third arrangement would be where the homeowner offers to pay the house sitter a wage because essentially you're now entering not just house sit territory but you're entering a job territory where they have considerable activities that are expected or, or tasks expected of them on top of the house sit. So in that scenario there, the homeowner would want to consider paying a house sitter. A nominal wage, as Eric said, uh, on top of the free stay. There are several websites dedicated to house sitting that you can look into or join. Some of these are trustedhousesitters.com, mindmyhouse.com, and since we joined one of these um, seven years ago, we've heard of many others. Uh, it might take a little while to list them through, so do us a favor, put the ones you know in the comments section below. For those of you researching a possible house sit uh, for yourselves, you can just read our comment section. Yeah, exactly. It's been several years since we've been um, a part of these websites because the fact is, is that over the years we've built up enough uh, relationships and references and referrals now to where all of our house sitting that, that we're doing, which by the way, this house that we're sitting in right now is a house sit, it just becomes uh, word of mouth for us and we get as many as we can handle. Yeah. As a homeowner, you might be wondering, well, what are the benefits to me in house sitting? Number one, you will gain the peace of mind of having someone in your home while you are away. In some countries, this will satisfy the requirement in your insurance policy. And in other countries, it will greatly reduce your exposure risk to things like break and entry petty crimes, which are very common in countries such as Costa Rica, Panama, Mexico, etc. If you live in a country where break and entry and petty crimes are common, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Number two is you will have someone in your home caring for your furry or feathered friends while you're away. Many homeowners, most homeowners, pets are like family members, so knowing that someone's in your home caring for them as close to the way you would is really a peace of mind for the homeowner. And number three, let's say you're someone that curates their yard. You have a beautiful yard, whether it be gardening or flowers or lawn care mm -hmm. you'll have the assurance that someone is maintaining all those things for you while you're away well what if you're a house sitter out there watching this video and you're wondering well, what are the benefits to me well number one would be it would grant you a free or affordable stay in a in a property that you could not or maybe would not want to afford on your own paying for it it's out of your price range 
And it might also be in a location that you would never have considered before. Mm -hmm. A couple examples from that would be the city that we're house sitting in right now is Victoria, Canada, one of the prettiest cities in Canada, maybe North America. And the two house sits that we've done in this area have been million dollar plus, in one case, two million dollar plus homes that we would have never afforded to, let's say, rent on our own. These properties would probably rent upwards of, well, easily would rent at over 4,000 a month, and in some cases, nearly double that. Lori and I just aren't affording that on our own. And so a house sitting arrangement allows us to be in places that we otherwise wouldn't be affording. Mm -hmm. The second thing she mentioned is you might end up in locations you might not have considered otherwise. I can give two examples of that. The first time we ever did a long-term international house sit, we chose a location called Sierpe in Costa Rica. Basically lived in the middle of the jungle for six months, which we never would have done if we didn't have the opportunity to stay there free of charge for six months. So that opened up some doors and created some memories that we would not have otherwise had. Yeah. And another example along those lines is the very next year, we did another six month international house sit in Panama, halfway up the road to a volcano in a rain cloud forest. Never would have experienced that location if it not had been for house sitting. Playing off of what Eric just said leads us right into point number two, ben the second benefit for a house sitter is that it gives you a home base with which you can go out from there and explore those surroundings. Mm -hmm. The third benefit for house sitters is that every house sit you take on is now building your resume, which you can use as a reference point when you're talking to future house sitters and their arrangements. Mm -hmm. The number four benefit for house sitters is that now you have the opportunity to build a relationship with the homeowner. This can lead to a number of benefits for you, including being invited back to do the same house sit numerous times, being referred on by the homeowner to their friends and family for additional house sits, being able to ask them to be referrals or references to you in future arrangement discussions. Mm -hmm. It could just be the start of a relationship that keeps on building and growing for you for future house sits. If you're new to the idea of house sitting, hopefully this video will encourage you to look into it more, whether it's from the perspective of a homeowner or a house sitter. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Please leave us a comment below with any questions or comments that you have. Share it with a friend too if they like the information. Click the like button if you'd like to help the channel for free. It just takes a second and it helps a lot. Click subscribe and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. We really appreciate you being here. We encourage you to watch this video next. See you in the next one.